At school, you probably had to learn your times tables. In amateur radio, knowing your DBs off by heart is also really handy. DBs or decibels is a ratio. It's often used for comparing signal strengths, both when you are testing antennas, RF antenurators, signal fading, or what you see on the signal strength meter on your transceiver, though its reading might not necessarily be all that accurate. Decibels uses a logarithmic scale, so that double the power is not double the dB number. What I'll do today is give you some ratios. If you remember at least some of them, then that will help you with decibels, at least for power. Decibel ratios for voltages are different, and I won't talk about those today. So let's go through the dB list. I'll go from 1 to 20 decibels. An increase of 1 dB is 1.25. 1.25 times as strong. You'll hardly be able to detect it. An increase of 2 dB, also not very apparent, but it's a ratio of 1.6. 3 dB, that's easy, that's doubling. And remember, with this and all the others, 3 dB up is doubling, minus 3 dB is halving. 4 dB is more than doubling, 2.5 times before. So if you started with 10 watts and you increased to 25 watts, that's an increase of 4 dB. 5 dB times 3, 6 dB times 4, 7 dB times 5, 8 dB times 6, 9 dB times 8, and 10 dB times 10. The really easy ones you need to remember is 10 dB times 10, and 3 dB times 2, and in between, something like 5 dB times 3. You can sort of interpolate other values from those. Then, if you're going above 10 dB, 11 dB is times 12, or as I mentioned before, divided by 12, or 1 12th of, if you're talking about losses. 12 dB is times 16, 13 dB times 20, 15 dB times 30, 16 dB times 40, 17 dB times 50, and 20 dB times 100. Now, what is 23 dB? Now, we know that 20 dB was times 100. We know that 3 dB is a doubling. So 23 dB is 100 times 2, or 200 times. So with that, you can then work out other dB numbers. Like 30 dB, for instance. Uh, we mentioned before that 10 dB was 10 times. 20 dB is 100 times. 30 dB is 1,000 times like going from 1 watt to 1 kilowatt, and 40 dB would be 10,000 times. And if you were to come up with something like, let's say, 36 dB, then we already know that 6 dB is 4 times, 30 dB is 1,000 times, so that makes 4,000 times. Or if you're talking about attenuation, you divide it by 4,000. The dB table, I'll repeat it again, and hopefully you'll memorize at least some of these ratios. 1 dB is times 1.25, 2 dB is times 1.6, 3 dB is times 2, or a doubling, 4 dB is times 2.5, 5 dB is times 3, 6 dB is times 4, 7 dB is times 5, more or less, 8 dB times 6, 9 dB times 8, and 10 dB times 10. 11 dB times 12, 12 dB times 16, 13 dB times 20, 15 dB times 30, 
16 dB times 40, 17 dB times 50, and 20 dB times 100. We'll repeat that again. Up 1 dB is times 1.25, up 2 dB times 1.6, up 3 dB times 2, 4 dB times 2.5, 5 dB, it's 3 times, 6 dB, 4 times, 7 dB, 5 times, 8 dB, 6 times, 9 dB, 8 times, 10 dB, 10 times. Then there's 11 dB, which is multiplied by 12, 12 dB, 16 times, 13 dB, 20 times, 15 dB, 30 times, 16 dB, 40 times, 17 dB, 50 times, and 20 dB, 100 times. And then there's intermediate ones, for instance, 14 dB. Well, we know that 10 dB is 10 times, 4 dB is 2.5 times, so that makes it 25 times. So you can very easily interpolate various values. We'll go again. 1 dB, up 1.25 times. 2 dB, up 1.6 times. 3 dB, 2 times. 4 dB, 2.5. 5 dB, it's a tripling, 3 times, 6 dB, 4 times, 7 dB, 5 times, 8 dB, 6 times, 9 dB, 8 times, 10 dB, 10 times, 11 dB, 12 times, 12 dB, 16 times, 13 dB, 20 times, 15 dB, 30 times, 16 dB, 40 times, 17 dB, 50 times, and 20 dB, 100 times. Keep thinking about it, keep memorising it, and you too will be able to understand dBs in your head. No calculator required.